So I got a question from um, a YouTube subscriber, Juanita Crooks. She asked me about uh, my process for uh, developing environments and backgrounds for comics. Um, and so uh, I want to answer that here. Um, if you saw, this is going really fast, but if you saw at the first of this uh, video, um, I pulled out uh, a bunch of printed images that I've collected over the years, uh, either found it online through Pinterest or found it in a book and scanned it and printed it out in my own little book. So it's a sort of like an analog um, Pinterest. So I look at that uh, to get kind of inspired, kind of see what reality has for me. And then I go into my sketchbook and I start abstracting um, and creating shapes um, that have a feeling. I think about uh, emotion uh, when I'm thinking about a setting and a situation. Um, and I'm not simply just thinking about how things work um, as, as far as like architecture or lighting. I'm thinking primarily about how things feel. Um, and so that's my thought process behind it. Um, and there's a language, you know, that we see the, the visuals are our language of themselves. And, um, you know, for instance, a simple way to think about it is spiky things are dangerous. Uh, round, soft things are comfortable. They're nice. Um, horizontal, um, uh, lines are calm. Vertical lines are uh, a little bit more um, energetic. Oblique lines, for instance, the same thing too. So um, specifically with this uh, environment, I'm, I'm thinking about the kind of the showdown, last sort of chapter in Joe Death, my graphic novel. And um, I, uh, it's, he's kind of, uh, the character Joe is, is walking into sort of a ghost town here. And you know, classic ghost town, not, not too, um, too exciting. Um, my head makes a, an appearance here. Uh, but, uh, I am, um, just, you know, pulling from my own, my own knowledge, my own, um, idea of what, of what this should look like. So, uh, one practical thing is, um, to guide the eye um, into the scene. So this is, again, this is pretty, it's, uh, I, I'm not trying to be hard on myself here, but this is not um, the most exciting scene, um, but I want to capture a feeling of um, foreboding uh, and uh, kind of ominous, ominousness. <laughs> um, and so, I'll have the uh, horizon line uh, low. One of the things that you should do is pick pick your perspective. So um, these things attribute to the feelings that we have when we see a scene. Um, so if you pick your perspective uh, with, um, think about like the old Zelda games uh, and RPGs or something, if you're, if you're seeing the ground and you're in control of the characters and you see See only the ground. You're not seeing the sky. You you sort of are, are in the place of God. Essentially, you sort of see uh, everything there is on the ground, um, and vice versa. If you if you place yourself uh, on the ground, and the sky is actually filling up uh, two thirds or three fourths of the scene, then you're the smaller person, and your view is of the heavens, uh, and so there's more of an expanse for you to uh, feel small in, um, if that makes sense. Um, so that's, that's typically what I like to do in a lot of my images. I, I really like to, um, I think, create mystery uh, and to create that feeling of, of sort of smallness in a big world. And um, I think it's a subtle kind of world building technique, um, just that, that perspective of, uh, um, you know, the, the very, the very, uh, mechanical term is perspective. Where's your horizon line? But, but the pers you know, that, that influences the actual story perspective that influences the audience's perspective. So I think that's, that's pretty important when you're deciding what the type of scene is. Um, and, uh, you can see here, this is very similar to the video I released yesterday 
or I'm just blocking in things with uh, grays and blacks, and I'm letting the white of the paper show through. So if you're interested in this uh, content, check out my Patreon. Um, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, I appreciate you all watching and following along as I make uh, Joe Death and the Graven Image um, coming from Dark Horse uh, Comics at a future date.